Even though injuries probably aren't on the minds of most of these young soccer players, some may suffer ankle sprains in the future. If not rehabbed properly, they risk being plagued with chronic ankle problems later in life. Mark Connor is a sheriff's deputy who recently had surgery to repair chronic damage from past ankle sprains he suffered while playing soccer and skydiving. It really puts you in place as far as when you cannot walk when your ankle is injured. I mean, I've had other injuries, and it really, you know, you really appreciate your legs and your, and your, your ability to walk and run and just the simple things. The American College of Foot and Ankle Surgeons warns that baby boomers could be vulnerable to chronic ankle problems caused by old sprains and other injuries that never healed properly. One of the things that we see is our older adult athletes may have had a previous injury that was maybe 80 to 85 percent uh, rehabilitated or it improved to that point, but when they increase their level of activity as older adults, we see those kind of come back and haunt us with more pain, more swelling, or, or problems with activity. All of those should be evaluated as well because that can progress and get worse. Athletes often misunderstand how serious a sprain can be and try to rush back into competition without appropriate treatment and rehabilitation. Americans are certainly doing the right thing by getting back into sports. What we'd like them to do is, is do it appropriately and, and actually tune the instrument before you play it. And in some cases, the uh, previously sprained or injured ankles can keep them from doing that. And we don't want that to happen. For both accomplished athletes and out-of-shape 40-somethings hoping to regain past athletic fitness, the best advice is to have that old ankle injury checked out by a podiatric foot and ankle surgeon before becoming active again. This is Laura Wheelis reporting.